Hello everybody, girls and guys, today is Easter Monday and I'm carrying on with all the special soaps I've not tried before and today we're sticking with an English soap, UK soap and this is from GOF Trumpers again and it's called Trumpers, Officers and Gentlemen. Is that what it says? No, Officers and Gentlemen's shaving mug soap refill this is a barbershop scent um it comes in a it's 80 grams and just so that you know in comparison to the 75 grams it's triple milled it's a hard puck wrapped up actually quite nicely look at that it's super hard it's triple milled so at its 80 grams, it will be a lot cheaper and a lot more economic to use than, for example, the Eucharist, which is 75 grams as a cream. Just on a side note. Um, right, so that's what it looks like. Let me put that aside. I have taken out just over half a gram and put it into my shaving scuttle which I have warm water in here and I've put half a teaspoon of water onto that little bit as well that's what you can see this is not sealed properly so I'm not going to be um, loading or anything I'll be putting it down here and I will adjust the camera again once I get to that so <clears throat> so you see I'm using my blue scuttle and I've um, sort of closed off the spout, but not enough. If I'd have it holding it and I'd lather up there, it would be spilling out. It's okay, but not perfect. And the razor that I'm using today is a G-Tech, not G-Tech, what am I talking? <laughs> yes, a Gillette Tech dupe. There we go, not G-Tech. G-Tech is something else, I don't know. <laughs> um, this is going to be a good video if it carries on like this. This has a long handle though, it's super heavy. There are various options to have the um, various options to this. Um, some don't like it, they say it gets too slippery. I think this one's okay because of its weight as well and it does have this little bit of grip here. But if you're having problems, you can always put a rubber band or something around it. I like the length of the handle and the weight. Um, this is the, I don't know, what did they call it? Well, have a look in the, in the picture after I will post it. This is nice because this three piece actually has no overhang. And now the shower's decided to go. I'm sorry for that. It does that every now and then. Um, three piece has no overhang. I'm going to be using first use a perma sharp, which I'm putting in right now. It's a perma sharp stainless. Is there any other kind? I do not know. I don't think so. Oh, come on. It's stuck to the blade. I can't get the paper off. Paper's ripped. Okay. This is stuck. This is well stuck. I'm trying to have to peel it off this way. Okay, that way it went. So it just says perma sharp stainless. And let me load this. Hope you can see that. Like that this goes on top this is a very mild razor and I think that's good also to have mild right this has moved oh, that's me trying to do this whilst talking I have to start again I've managed to move this round okay I managed to twist it whilst loading there we go so it has no overhang whatsoever that's another reason why I like this razor 
with this mild razor you can get a super sharp blade in it and get a really good shave without the razor burn after so for sensitive skin I'm not sure though it will do a two or three day beard I don't think so even with a feather in it or anything <clears throat> that is super sharp so that's on its first use and I am going to be as a brush I'm going to be using the Yaki 24 this is Arctic Sky Blue it's a lovely brush it has some marbling lovely color blue and there we go that's what I'm going to be using today so let me adjust the camera whilst I'm doing the loading let's see I need to adjust the camera stand as well Oops. and then this happens there we go let's see if I can tighten this so it doesn't go any further as you can see in the basin I have warm water and my flannel not so warm now because I've been talking too much but there you go just dip this in squeeze it out shake it out and let's go all oh, this lathers up super nice this has a this is the large blue scuttle and that's why the sides don't clank so much it's ceramic handmade by Steve Woodhead He has bowls and scuttles and the suribachi bowl that I have also comes from him. Look at this, this is super easy lathering. Scent level, very weak. It's actually more like a two. I prefer the wider scuttles to the narrow tall ones because of the clanking I don't want to damage them so but the downside obviously is that the lather wants to escape a lot wants to escape it's more easy for the lather to escape right so the lather as you can see this is only half a teaspoon of water in there is already doing very well indeed <laughs> well how did you spend your Easter Sunday I spent mine as you saw a little bit in the garden had lots to do not in the garden generally I had lots to do no change there same every day Oh, so well let's add a little bit more let's do another half a teaspoon let's see where that goes I don't know how far you can actually push this soap but it's doing rather well it's the first time I'm using this I just took some off the bottom with my knife And it is already a great lather. I don't know how creamy it will be on the skin though. I think I'm not going to put any more in. I'd rather have a creamy and not quite so frothy lather once I put it on. I think let's veer off the one and a half teaspoons I have one teaspoon in here and it's frothy enough let me just work it a little bit more and I'm a bit careful because it's escaping as you can see that's why I'm taking a bit longer than usual on this I'm trying to get a feel for it let's do the finger test great slip slickness is there protection is there 
and it feels almost like nothing on the skin. It doesn't feel creamy at all. You can't even feel it apart from the slickness. So there's no wonder how this post feel will be. So it's a very light scent. If I can compare it to anything, it smells slightly like the layer. So let me do my face and bring the camera back up. Oops. Oops, here we go. That's me getting the buttons wrong. Oh. There we go. Oh. Shouldn't have done that with one hand, should I? Anyway. So, it smells a bit like the layer. The Spanish layer. Just my mirror and the camera maybe a bit more too okay it feels great putting it on Very nice scent, very mild. Perma Sharp feels relatively smooth, not as smooth as the Big Ben. Great slip of this soap. This slope has a lot of slickness. I am liking this. I think the Perma Sharp would go better in a different razor. Maybe one that's a little more efficient or an adjustable. What am I doing? <laughs> Making things worse. Now I've got it all over my glasses so I can't see. Here we go. Right. Now this is... This is intriguing. The scent. Let me just pause for one second. I'm thinking, does this also smell similar to the Mitchells? No, definitely the layer. Um, it has that fresh, clean scent as well to it, which I, which just got into my head about the Mitchells. No, it's definitely a different scent. Very comforting. Old style, old school scent. As they say on the box, for officers and for gentlemen. Right, 
let's go across mm, second pass is better with this blade feels a lot smoother see no problem no overhang nice to have a soap like this it doesn't always have to be super strong and scented so this makes a nice difference to all the other soaps I've been using lately and it works a treat as you see <laughs> I'll show the in to the camera in a minute there's still loads of it And it seems the more you paint, paint it on, the creamier it actually gets, so it responds well to the skin. Bonds well. I'd almost say a great budget soap out of a good name. I mean, not like supermarket. Great, great price and works fabulously. I tell you what, this is a keeper. Once I run out of my layer, I'm going to rebuy this one rather than the layer, which has more, it's 100 grams. More difficult to get hold of, for me anyway. Oh, it's got so much slip, I've got to make sure. Got to adjust. No use trying to pull here, look, <laughs> it slips. Fabulous ladies razor, this, definitely. Unless you've got a super, super coarse whiskers. I'll call them whiskers. Not many ladies get a full-on beard. They're normally around here, sometimes around here. Although there are some with polycystic ovary syndrome that really do get a heavy growth. Right, now let me just pause. This is on my mind. I have to do the check. Let me get the layer. I'm sorry for the interruption, but when something's on my mind, I've got to check it out. So this is the layer. I've put it in an old Erasmic tub um, because I didn't want to have it in the Mrs. Jug. I normally have it in the Mrs. Jug, but I wanted to put it away. So let's have a look. No, <laughs> Maya, I don't know what I was thinking. This is completely different, actually. The clean scent is similar, but no, but even so, <laughs> I don't know, what was I thinking? That does smell completely different. I prefer this. Let's have another go. 
just because I have so much left. This is a lovely scent. Funny, it does remind me of something then. It does remind me of a scent, which is it? This is not going to let me go, guys, until I found what it smells of. No, not the boots. That's a lot more spicy. Um, <laughs> I've got it. I wasn't that far off. It is actually La Toja. It's actually La Toja. It smells, La Toja is a tiny bit stronger. So I wasn't far off. I knew it smelled familiar to me, and but it wasn't the layer. Come on, here we go. Pick up, pass. This is a great straight razor soap as well. With this amount of slickness, I would most probably even give a go without a pre-shave. two areas this side and are a bit more bristly and just on this side of my chin normally here either the middle or just this side so this is smooth as smooth can get so even more so now, knowing that it's more like one of my favorite La to the La Toja, I would get this due to where I am. La Toja is maybe not quite so expensive, but if you have to import it or get hold of it, it does turn out to be. But it's also triple milled, and I have loads left. Let me just adjust the camera. hope I don't make you all dizzy dizzy. Look at the amount of, and I'm um, crooked as well. Here you go, look. Loads left. It has dissipated a tiny bit, but hardly to mention as soon as you swirl again, there it comes back together. Look, there's at least another two passes on that. I would say because the brush is full as well. So, oh, amazing soap. I don't know, uh, I think I was put off by Trumpers through a lot of comments I read earlier on in the beginning of my shaving. Did I wipe this off? Let's do it again. Um, beginning of my shaving saying that people were getting irritation or that they were sort of like drifting off into second class soaps if you understand not so nice i think this works fabulously the two that i've tried i cannot complain at all on the contrary this one is equally as good as the cream so, if anything, this has encouraged me, encouraged me to try another. Um, because I've had the Eucris, which is rather sophisticated. This is more, more, I, I don't, you can't, not, this is more, 
has more body to it. Let, that's what I'm looking for, the word body to it. Scent level is a two. I wouldn't give it more than that, which is nice as well. Don't always want to have a full on. What is it with me today? I've got loads of fusel. There we go. That was the aloe first. And I'm going to go then with a scent, because this was so gentle, I'm going to go with the Gentleman's Pride Alcohol Free Aftershave and Skin Conditioner. Oh, looks like I need to get a new bottle. There we go. And this goes a long way. And this is the perfect finish. Post shave feel of the soap was good. A I would say out of ten, at least a five or six slickness, ten out of ten. I don't think he can get more slickness. Other than maybe adding a pre-shave, but why would you? That's so slick. Lather ability and how it keeps its lather still has. Look, it's still great. I would give it actually an 8 because it does dissipate a little bit. Um, but it's easy, it lathers well, and it goes on creamy. Yeah, so thumbs up to it. This is another keeper. And as it's only 80 grams, you'll still get a lot out of this. It's triple milled, it's a hard puck. It's cheap, it works, it's good. Lovely scent on the, on the gentle side, as I said. I'm happy with it. So, see you soon. Yeah, Wednesday. Today's Monday. So, see you on Wednesday. Already missing you. Bye-bye.